Alrighty, this is just a little video about how WWE officially betrayed us. They've been betraying us for several years now. It's been like a big fucking betrayal plan in motion. We're gonna talk about that crap. It all started when they turned PG. They give us a childlike superhero in the main event. We've talked about this a billion times. Now the PG defenders have a new excuse. Well, that wasn't McMahon's plan to become hardcore. His plan all along was to be family friendly. Well, first of all, I don't remember McMahon coming out and telling us this. Attention, PG defending virgins. Tell the guys that this wasn't my plan the whole time. So yeah, that's your excuse. Keep making yourself look like virgin retards to defend my shitty product. Huh? Plus, the show was hardcore for like 10 years. Okay, so maybe people were a little bit misled. Maybe they thought that the show would still be, you know, good. <laughs> They didn't think it would become a fucking nursery rhyme show or whatever the fuck it is. Okay? So they turned PG. And we all complained. We were tired of Cena. Tired of the PG product. And rightfully so. So what happens? CM Punk arrives and cuts a promo. Talking against the company. Talking against Cena saying it needs to change. Basically, he said everything that the Attitude Era people wanted to hear. He said everything that we've been complaining about. Next thing you know, Punk becomes a major star. All right? And we all thought that the Attitude Era was coming back because they fucking teased it. They're the ones who implanted that idea in our head by purpose all right so they had the potential they had their potential new major star that would have been 10 times better than cena they had a chance to, to start a new attitude era or something like this what happens next they destroyed cm punk we're all like, what the fuck's going on here? You have the potential to have a megastar. Why are you destroying him? Okay, they destroyed their potential new Attitude Era. They made a mockery out of it with Laurinaitis, saying it was the new golden era, the people power era, making it look like if new eras is a bad thing, basically. You understand? Um, then they proceed to put Cena over Punk. Okay, they tell us that Punk was losing ratings, but when Punk became champion and they started their new eras, they were doing childish G-rated bullshit with Kane and Zack Ryder. No wonder they were losing fucking ratings. Okay? Now why? Did they destroy their potential new attitude star along with a potential era? Because they don't want a new fucking attitude era. They don't want it. So what did they do? They brought the idea in our fucking head. They give us Punk, who's acting like an attitude guy. Then they purposely destroyed it. They sabotaged everything. That way we wouldn't want a new attitude era. Oh, so John Cena was better than him all along. Well, fooey. I'm such a bad guy for wanting good wrestling. That's exactly what all of that was. All the CM Punk stuff, Cena being better than him, it was all a big sabotage to fuck over the attitude era fans who've been wanting better wrestling. That's exactly what it is, okay? Then, after they fuck us over like this, we're asking for a John Cena heel turn, okay? You're still gonna shove Cena down our throat. You're telling us to go fuck ourselves, we get it. But can we please 
get a John Cena heel turn just to have a better product for the love of God please give us that at least and apparently this offended the wide you see and Cena fans because apparently wrestling is real and uh, if Cena turns heel then he's gonna be a real bad guy I guess they think wrestling is real it offended them I don't know but what did WWE do they pull out the rise above hate shit okay suddenly Cena's dressed in black that's one of the demands that we had so that Cena would stop looking like a fruity pebble or whatever he comes out dressed in black we're thinking there's a possible heel turn they start to tease it just like a possible attitude era with punk but then they start the rise above hate campaign Cena's making big speeches saying that he's never gonna change never gonna turn heel basically they tried to make us feel like pieces of shit for wanting a Cena heel turn but the whole time we just want a better product you see what they did oh Cena you want Cena heel here's a little Cena heel storyline retarded garbage with Kane Next thing you know, Cena's a big, great person because he's not turning heel. And all the people who want the heel turn are haters. We were bad, evil haters. Alright, so big fucking pile of bullshit there. Then, they betray us again when they start experimenting with G-programming on Raw. McMahon admitted that Raw was including a shitload of G shit in it. You watch Saturday Morning Slam, that is G rated, and it is for a show for toddlers. And they were giving us the same kind of shit on Raw, experimenting on us adults, giving us G rated programming. And people were defending this. People are like, what the fuck's up with this kitty trash? And the YWC were defending this. Pathetic. All around fucking pathetic. The fans and the company are very pathetic. You're going to ask yourself why? Why would they fuck with us like that? A show that once had attitude and, and you know, good entertainment. Why would they fuck their fans over by giving us Teletubbies on fucking Raw? Because they released the kids show. Uh, it was all a big plan all along. They were experimenting, filming just the kids in the crowd. You can see what they did. They, they were like practicing on us for their little G bullshit show. Oh, if, if uh, these goof retarded adults are able to watch this G programming on Raw, Maybe even those losers are going to watch Saturday Morning Slam. Fuck it. We've proven that adults are going to watch retarded G programming. So let's just go all the way with kids garbage. Huh? And it's like I said, okay? For example, in the old days, oh, I'm a WWF fan. I like Steve Austin. Yeah, Raw was fucking kick-ass. You know, there was a bit of a tough guy element to it, you understand? But now if you're talking about being a WWE fan, a company that does kid shows, then we just look like retards. We look like babies, is what we look like. If they're becoming Disney 2.0, basically, and we're praising WWE and defending them, we look like retards who are defending a fucking kid show. It's like 40-year-old guys making vids about anime and shit. That's what we're going to look like because of this kid's show. It's a big fucking betrayal. A big fucking screw job. Fuck you to the adults. Fuck your attitude era. We're going in the kiddie direction. And people are thinking, oh, Raw is going to become TV 14 again. They're going to split the kids and the adults. Fuck no. If they're a kid's company now, making kid's programming, they have to maintain that image. So it, they can never go back. 
If they're a big kid company, they can't turn around and do hardcore shit on Monday nights. Because the parents aren't going to let their kids watch it. Because it's a big family friendly kid company. So don't expect Raw to become more hardcore. Because it won't. If anything, it's going to become even more childish. They're going to have fucking... The, the kid element is going to spill even more onto Raw and SmackDown now. Okay? But what do we get? Huh? Us Attitude Era fans. Us who have a brain there. What do we get for entertainment? Are we going to get an adult kid show? Absolutely not. We're going to get the Attitude Era on the video game. Oh, you guys want a real Attitude Era back? Fuck you, retards. You get to buy an Attitude Era game for 70 bucks. We're going to play like 20 minutes worth of storylines that we already know. And that's going to be our Attitude Era. We're going to get an Attitude Era DVD. <laughs> that's going to be our Attitude Era. We're not getting shit. And the product is going to get even more childish. And all the buffoons that were defending the G-rated Raws that we were getting. You guys proved to McMahon that he can do childish shit. And you're still going to enjoy it and watch it. So thanks. Thanks for killing wrestling. Okay, so yeah, big fucking screw job. They just want us to have a little taste of the era and forget about it. Oh yeah, Cena was better all along. You were right, McMahon. Oh, what's that? No Attitude Era? Oh, I'm going to play a game. huh? And the Attitude Era marks. Okay, no offense to you guys. I'm one of the marks of the Attitude Era. But people are going to fall for this. They're going to start defending the game like if it's the real Attitude Era. But the whole time, it's just a fucking screw job. We're never getting the fucking good wrestling that we want back. Instead, they give us a fucking kid show and a little Attitude Era game. They think it's going to balance things out. Or they're not going to rage and go nuts because we're selling out with kids' garbage. We're giving them an Attitude Era game, and sadly, half of you have already fallen for it. It's pathetic. They completely betrayed us, and the product will never be remotely close to how good it used to be. Never. Until next time, peace.